<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you something simple and cool enough. I'm going to be showing you all how you can install and run the PS4 NES and PS4 gear system emulators on your PS4 if you are running version 4.55. So these two have been ported over by Morpheus1987, so huge shout out and thank you to him. You can find this article down below in the description where you can download both of these package files and this is going to assume that not only you have a PS4 which is exploitable and compatible on firmware 4.55 or whatever is available now but on top of that you've also seen the jailbreaker PS4 hint tutorial I have set up so a link for that will also be down below in the description or available as a card on the video here but first off all you need to do is grab both of these emulator package files these are going to be apps that you can install on here once you have the package files just go ahead copy both of them make sure you have a flash drive or a usb drive of some kind available either formatted to fat32 or xfat i recommend xfat if you're working with the ps4 on a regular basis and just paste them to the root of your drive like so and now for your games i cannot help you with where to get any of the games from this is assuming that you already have them on hand but you need to put all of your games in a roms folder so create a folder called roms and then inside of there put all of your games so this is for the Sega Master System and the Nintendo or Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, they have to be unzipped, they have to be unrarred, so it has to be just the regular files like this, like .nes or .sms, and all of them go in this directory, so you don't make separate directories for them. But that's about it. You just have your ROMs folder, put all the ROMs that you want to play in there, and then have your two package files out here on the root of your flash drive. Once you have all those, you can go ahead, right click, eject, and let's move over to the PS4. So now that you're over at the PS4, just go ahead and go over to your settings, user guide, or however you're going to run your exploit page here to get to the playground. I am offline self-hosted, so I'm going to be utilizing this method, but launch hen. Wait a few seconds for this. And now once the payload is dropped, you can go back into your settings, go all the way down to debug, game, package installer, and install both packages. Now that both packages have been installed, go ahead press the PlayStation button, and as you can see, both of them are right here, PS4 NES and PS4 Gear System. So, first of all, just for the Nintendo emulator, you can launch this like any other game. And it's going to say press X load ROM from mount USB 0 ROMs. As you can see, both of the ROMs that we loaded are right there. So I'm going to grab Red Racer, for example. And now, just to let you all know, you might run into a few issues here and there. Uh, this is ported, and not only that, but it is quite early on in development too, like with everything running on here. So you'll see there are going to be issues such as this. Uh, let me go ahead and also try 720, see if that's any better. So try this out, 720. It's really just going to kind of be a pick and choose thing. Hopefully this can get updated as well, but you might not have the uh, the best experiences at first. It's really just depending on what you're going to do, what you're going to try out, all that stuff. This seems to, aside from me playing horribly right there, this seems to work much better. So you're just going to have to pick and choose to see what works on this. Now that the uh, NES emulator, I say NES, is working just fine, let's go ahead and go over to the gear system which this is for the sega master system so again just press x load rom and you can pick what you want to on here i'm going to pick space harrier because i'm interested to see if this one works how well it works there we go and as you can see this is working so again to anybody who's complaining like they might say you know this emulator is not the best frame rate might be low whatever it is uh yeah it's it's pretty early in development here on the ps4 and it was just ported over so again give it time but it is cool that we have this available so this is how you can have some more retro fun and expand your game library even further on the ps4 so i recommend checking out both of these emulators again link will be down below in the description for the emulator the page and all that stuff where you could download it anyways this is mr mario signing off thank you all for watching everyone if you enjoyed this video a like would absolutely be appreciated if you hated it a dislike is fine as well too because maybe you don't want to play a bunch of old games on here but still try to have some fun